This is the first of a series of lessons that I call collectively the SharePoint 2013 BI Farm Configuration Crash Course. What we're going to do in this series of lessons is plan out a multi-server SharePoint farm with all of the BI features where different functions and services are located on different servers. So we'll have to think about load balancing, we'll have to think about scalability, active directory, security configuration, service accounts, everything. There are a few features that will be out of scope for this series. The first is we won't be worrying about internet facing deployment. Uh, this farm could be extended to face the internet and have public users. Uh, however, in this scenario, we're not going to really be considering it at all. The second is we will be doing some functional testing of the farm to make sure it works, but not developing a full solution set. So there are other lessons that do that. So we're just really focused on configuration in this series. And the third is, as far as our, our users, we will be only considering Active Directory users. So if you need to configure a farm that has trusted authentication sources and, and federation with those using SAML tokens or other means, that's not really something we're going to focus on within this lesson. But if you are trying to configure a farm within your company, within your intranet environment, um, this is the right series for you. The software that we'll be using here is based on Windows 2012. Um, this same procedure really would work on Windows Server 2008 R2 as well, but in this, these lessons we will use uh, 2012. Uh, SharePoint 2013 is the version we'll use, and at the time this was recorded, the RTM version was current. And then for the BI components, we'll be using SQL Server uh, 2012 with SP1, which is significant because some of the features that we will use in this series are only available with at least SP1 of the SQL Server 2012 product.